Welcome back, everybody. Yeah, hope everybody's ready for the weekend. And, okay, hope everybody's ready to wait to get into the game. <laughs> hey. Okay, wait here. There we go. Okay, perfect. Hey, okay. yeah, I'll have a couple of things to do before we, uh, Get back into the story, but yeah, otherwise, uh, should be good. Got to, uh, go do my important things at the gold saucer before we, uh, oh, it's because it's a moon fire fair. Okay, I was wondering what the noise was with fireworks. Okay. Or, okay. Like I said, important things to do first. <laughs> yeah, more important than MSQ, more important than, uh, you know, getting to, uh, to max level. Seven's awful. Uh, let's take that one. Okay. Huh. Okay, well, that's ten. That's also awful. Um, no, not bad. Mm, twelve. Twelve is not great. That was worse. Okay. Um, I think I have my Jumbo Cack Pot for this week. Let's go check just to make sure. Okay. Winning numbers yet to be announced. Okay, so I do have the... Uh, Okay, let's return to old Charlie in. Then I can uh, get on the ship and then teleport. Because I'm. No, this way. Yes, there we go. I am a professional, I know what I'm doing. So I wonder if uh, uh, if everybody's finished the uh, I I don't know what it's called the uh, the, the new uh, raid tier that's come out. I guess it's is it only four fights that have been released at the moment? I don't know. I'm I, I confess I don't uh, I don't usually participate. <laughs> so tends to uh, yeah it uh, I, I tend not to really know if they're done or uh, um, when people are finished or whatever because I usually don't participate when it's uh, when it's new so all right but yeah we're um, Okay, we're getting into it here though, but I hope people, uh, you know, I hope if people have, uh, uh, have participated, they enjoyed it. I hope also, uh, like I've said before about, uh, the, you know, the campaign, the MSQ in general, I hope people have enjoyed it if they've, uh, you know, been, uh, or taken part, but, okay, let's see what we got. 
Face the penultimate objective of the right, it would be wise to travel to Mimuk and undertake the feat of the Brotherhood without delay. Wise, yes, but impossible. Uh, the traverse which connects the upper forests is still impassable. Is there no other route? I'm afraid not. Particularly the path is underway, though. And I'm hopeful we can resume our journey soon. So use our time as we see fit. One would like to explore the village's surroundings. If Aaronville would oblige me a tour. No other engagements. Okay. Uh, and I'll come with you if only to prove that I am capable of keeping my footing. Oh my god. Uh, I shouldn't rejoice at our delay. Uh, it does afford me an opportunity to look into my grandfather's purported visit to Yachtaral. Okay. Uh, what a foreign mage coming through here decades back. I'll come with you. Want to join us? I don't have much choice, so sure. Uh, reconvene here after our distractions. Okay. Paul oh, Merchant met my grandfather at the market in Yachtaral some 20 years ago. Okay. Let's go talk to the person that the game tells me to. Let's go around here first. Or not. Good. Oh, Lord. Good. Out. Grizzled villager. Foreign mage 20 years ago. Uh, yes, I remember him. It's not often we get visitors from across the salt, let alone those traveling with infants, a baby girl, as I recall. Uh, I only saw him in passing mind. If anyone uh, were to know more, I'd wager it would be uh, Hunmu Rook. Uh, he's already... Oh, he was already... Zabrax Rax, then? What? Girl, thank you, sir. Information was very helpful. Okay, so, I don't know, I mean, I'm not sure why we're talking to this person. Were they leader? Like, is that what that term means? Hey, buddy. Okay. Hello again, request assistance. Foreign mage passed through. Roughly 20 years ago, possibly carrying a child. Do you remember him? Why do you ask me this? Who is this man to you? Uh, may have been my grandfather, and I wish to know what brought him here. Your grandfather? Not by blood, but he, uh, uh, he is family nonetheless. Foreign mage did indeed visit Master Galif. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> so far as his identity is concerned, um, I trust you are satisfied. More than that, however, I cannot say why not. I simply cannot. I beg your forgiveness and understanding. Very well, I will not press. Thank you for confirming his presence here. Uh, the rest I will discover for myself. Uh, out of more general curiosity, I have another question. They say the young boy once dwelled in these forests. Where, is, where was that exactly? General curiosity indeed, yes. Uh, before they withdrew some five centuries ago, claimed Yachtarell as their own. Architectural remains can be found in the lower forest. It's, uh then that's where they must have had their visions. Thank you, that answers much and more. Uh, I understand what it means to long for one's family, uh, so believe me when I say that though my position forbids me from aiding you further, I wish you nothing but success. By helping Third Promise find the Golden City, you'll surely find the answer to your questions. Okay, so does that mean that Gallup found the, uh, the Golden City, maybe? Speaking of which, I have a query of my own for you. May I press a moment of your company? I mean, okay. 
go on, we'll be waiting. Okay, what's up, buddy? Thank you for obliging. Head to the thing behind the village. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the fall damage. Um, okay. Uh, it was my intention to see you off without saying anything, but Mr. Krell's plea has softened my resolve. Okay. Leader of our community, I am gladdened to see uh, Third Promise has surrounded herself with compassion and trustworthy companions. Would you tell me of her journey thus far? Plot up! Uh, is that so? It seems the right has been the source of great learning and growth for Wuklamot. Just me well to hear this, okay. My daughter would be about her age. Ooh, really born among uh, Zabral. So when she arrived, the village was elated. Such joy I felt uh, when I first held her, the pain when I found her at the bottom of a cenote. Ooh, three years old, an accident, it was said, but I knew better. She had been pushed. Uh, though we never caught them, a suspicious figure was seen fleeing towards the heartlands, towards Mamuk. Uh, once bitter enemies, the Wimbledja and the Braxel learned to live in peace. Uh, but who could doubt the intentions of such, re such a reprehensible act by targeting the child who would one day lead her people? The criminal sought to undermine the future of the Zabral. Wow, okay. Determined not to let them succeed, and so I let the memory of my daughter die. Whoa, okay, this got dark all of a sudden, and gave her into the care of a person to protect her better than I. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Wait. So. So Hunmu is uh, Uklamot's dad. Wait. Uh, though she was born to lead Zabral, fate had a greater plan for Wuklamot. Only the Dawn Servant and I know the truth, uh, but I must uh, now take you into my confidence for one reason. If the villain who attempted to murder my daughter was indeed of Mamuk, uh, then rancor towards the Zabral still burns. I was caught off guard once. I will not suffer the same tragedy again. Wow, okay. Cue not as a Dawn Servant Selector, but as a father to watch over the Third Promise, defend her from her enemies uh, that may be lurking in the shadows. Will you do this for me? Well, yeah, absolutely. Pardon me. Thank you. Okay. Hear my question and answer me plainly. Address me not as the ruler, but as a concerned father. Conversation must remain between us. Pray breathe not a word of it to anyone. Yeah, that one's that that makes sense. Hey, shoes. the new booties. Uh, this one. Taking a stand. Following the past rendered me emotional. Requiring a moment to compose myself. But please don't keep their promise waiting. Okay. So are they kidnapping him? Getting back into the village is difficult. Oh, 
Oh. This is an event. Once several cutscenes will play in sequence, okay. I'm over leveled, okay. Uh okay. Um Buckle up, chat. Black. What did he want? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's not subtle at all. <laughs> you don't have to say more importantly, traverse still isn't clear. Something about even more rocks. Well, I think I'll take this opportunity to rest. All that cooking and preparing has worn me out. Hmm. I don't like that angle. It looks like somebody's watching us, and that does sound tempting. A moment promise. You're one of the cool judges. What do you want? come to fetch you you're welcome to refuse but know that it would be most unwise why is that your salted friend has an idea what do you think uh, and they say house cats don't come when called follow me promise Okay, who was that back there in the kitchen? Right, I think we're getting into a fight. What is the meaning of this? And just how far do you plan on taking us? Jaja, you snake! If you want my keystone so badly, you'll deal with me and me alone. Leave the elector out of this. Yeah, because I was about to say, can't he get kicked out of the, <laughs> the whatever for this? I think he is. Foolish kitty. This man is the reason we are here. Take a good look at him. Go on. Look. Surely you recognize your real father. Don't believe us? Then ask your trusted Selswort. She heard it straight from the old man's mouth. Okay. Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> All of what, like, five minutes? Is it true? Is Homorok my... Can we focus here for a second? Like... <laughs> Your silence says it all. Now that you understand the situation, let's see those keystones. I'll even let you fight for them. Just you and me. If that adventurer attempts to interfere, I'll kill the old man myself! See, yeah, this feels really like, uh, uh, very much like this wouldn't be, uh... You despicable, heartless fiend! Kinsman or no, I won't stand for you taking hostages. Come on then. You wanna fight? I'll 
give you a fight. Oh, such heroic caterwauling promise. I'm shaking. Guard our hostage well. We wouldn't want to attempt any thoughts of rescue. By the by, house guard, they've been instructed to put down Papa dearest when you lose. Wow. Don't worry. I'm not losing to the likes of him. Okay. Well, what are you waiting for, you blessed bastards? It's two against one. Don't tell me you're scared. I know I didn't hear you right. Don't worry, the scary adventurer won't try anything funny. <laughs> uh. scum. Who are you to mock me? I'll kill you, kill you, kill you all! Don't look away, salt. I want you to watch as I tear your beloved promise to shreds! Well, that was easy. on me the house cat remember okay am i playing as her like what's or is this just a cutscene? what's again. going on i'm not losing to the likes of you i'm going to become don's servant and i will protect my people okay i think i am oh okay this battle play is Wuthlamut. Dang it. Uh, through skillful combat, Wuthlamut will gain the resolve she needs to least powerful limit breaks. Okay. Uh, these attacks do great damage. They'll recover HP. Use them early and often. Okay. Uh, huh. Okay. What is... Wait. Um... Beak of liver, ranged attack, okay. Pulse is a heal, okay. Run of rush to target, okay. Head hot bar, oh, um. Torali judgment. Okay, so this is AoE? This is single target. I I think I don't know. <laughs> okay, come on, bugger. So I can rip you to pieces. My magic should be more than enough for Miss Midens. I'll make you eat dirt. Uh, okay. We're settling this here and now. Still playing the part of the brave warrior. Okay, I mean, 
It's no longer amusing me, brother. This right has taught me so much. About my nation, my people, and myself. Okay, but there wasn't anywhere to stand there that wasn't in an AoE. That's not fucking fair. Like... How do you like these? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Okay. So do I want to go to the green one? Like, what's... Okay, looks like that's the case, okay. I finally understand what it means to live in peace. To greet each day in safety and happiness. It's time we finished her, brother. This is the end for you, kitten. Okay, that's not fair. That's not the order he put them up in. That's I don't like that. going too badly I don't think but I mean it's kind of a slog like I have plot armor. Stupid pride! 
This is for Mamouk! We cannot lose! Oh ho! The great Bakul Jaja needs help, I see. Send your whole army! We still won't win! <laughs> so many AoEs! No, you go bye bye. Hey, <laughs> okay, nice. That wasn't so bad. I think it could have gone on. I think it could have been a little shorter, um, but I think it was fine. I reclaim what you stole. No. No. How could this be? How could that puny house cut beat all of us? She's grown over this. You haven't. You cause nothing but trouble with your dirty tricks. Threatening me, Hanu Hanu. Releasing Bari Armanda. Harassing me is one thing. But you've endangered too many innocents. No more, Bakul Jaja. I will not stand for it. If you even think of tormenting my people again, you will answer to me. Okay. Respect. No. No. Was what was and he goes and forgets he had the way blocked. What that was his doing? The only part left in the saga is the lay of the brotherhood in Mamuk. The plan was to force you here, so we could take the rest of your keystones. So that's what he was up to. But, uh, should you be telling us this? <sighs> what does it matter? You've beaten us. It's over. We'll release the hostage. I'm confused what that vision he had was what that's a memory of um that seemed like something you know something happened to him and i'm not exactly sure what it is oh. i'm sorry i was careless are you all right Buzz is awkward. So what Bakul Jaja said about you and me. I... Ha. But to single-handedly defeat Bakul Jaja, you truly are the Dawn Servant's daughter. Wow, he's, he's putting on a strong face. It's been my honor to bear witness to your journey. Promise. Dang. Promise. Yes. That's what I am. I'm Gulul Jaja's daughter, 
and Tully Hyolal's next dawn servant. Come on, let's rejoin the others. That's what it is. She reminds me of Naruto. Constantly talking about being the next Hokage. <laughs> yeah, to ruin this, uh, you know, this really uh, touching moment. Uh, okay, that's what I thought. We're kind of at like the uh, what might be close to like the last uh, part of this right here. For having faith in me, cool judge, I won't be the last per person to threaten someone I care about. Prove myself I can stand up to such villains. Uh, just to say, I won't ask for your help when I need it. Of course, no better than better that than anyone. Okay. Be sure I need that as well. I'll just take a look first. Yeah, because it looked like uh earlier in the second promises camp. Okay. Wait, hold on. The passage to Mamuk remains blocked. For now, all we can do is try to rest and recover. Perhaps with a meal, as my sister would no doubt suggest. Shall we borrow the kitchens and prepare some Shibruk Pibil? <laughs> So, thou hast taken a liking to the dish. As we learn to appreciate the unfamiliar, tis only natural that we develop new affinities. There is no shame in this. Mm. But there is an ignorance. I had barely considered what the people of Tuli Yolal hold dear. What hopes they harbor for the future. Our nation is built upon the bonds that father forged during his journey across Tural. Uh -huh. But so single-minded have I been in my advocacy of foreign innovations that I failed to understand my own people. Could someone who struggles to connect with the populace ever make a worthy dawn servant? Oh, he's having doubts now. Interesting. To understand and connect with people is by no means easy. But there is something you can do to pave the way. Let them see you for who you really are. What makes you laugh and cry and rage? That sort of honesty is the first step towards mutual understanding and connection. It's true. Understanding begets fellowship. As my father said. And yet, what you suggest does not come naturally to me. I, too, have found it difficult to speak from the heart. In thy struggles, I see mine own, painful in their familiarity. Oh, buddy, don't. Yeah. <laughs> wow. We don't need to go back to that. But frightening though it may feel, if we are to move forward, we must indeed take that first step. Dispense with pretense and simply be. Do you remember when you first approached us, and we asked you why you wanted to become Dawn Servant? You said you wished to use the knowledge you acquired in Charlian for your country, and in doing so, repay your father for the opportunities he afforded you. Okay. What won me over was not your ambition, but your motivation. So let your people know this, and in time, they'll come to support you as we do. True. You can't hide behind that stoicism forever. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Very well, then. I will make a greater effort to be myself. By not being my usual self so much. <laughs> well, I'm wondering what the first promise is going to end up doing. Uh, do I need... Yes. Okay. Give me the keys. I don't know if I'll need these, but I'm going to paint them anyway. Alright, All right, let's keep going. And get myself a mahogany hat. Uh, State of the Traverse. Still being cleared, I'd assume. Said he would notify us as soon as the work was done. I uh, could to consider how we might reclaim the stolen keystones. Okay. Already got that back. Yep. What? Well, when? What the mention how? That's what we're talking about. What? Yeah, you guys missed it all. Sorry, not sorry. Thought I'm a lesson, took my keystone back. You bested the cool judge on single combat. Good friends to encourage and cheer me on. And, as if by plot convenience, Traverse is now safe for travel. Hey, look at that. <laughs> okay, make for my book. But isn't it Bakul Jaja's home? Uh, we can only hope its residents don't come to share his winning personality. Uh, it's indeed the city where Ketterim first met the Dawn Servant. Surely some civili civility awaits us. I would not be so certain. It is true that the Dawn Servant received Ketterim and Mamuk. And was instrumental in establishing the establishment of friendly relations. But since that time, most of the Mamulja who support his peace have left their city in favor of abiding in the capital. Oh, so a lot of the people there don't, uh, remains as a cloister of Mamuk. And while these traditionalists do not take up arms against us, neither do they bear great love for outsiders. Oh, great. Like, the people of Mimic are also of Tuliolal. To be Dawn Servant, it's my job to know them all first. Let's, yeah, it's fair, I guess. Well, we'll be on our way then. Glad I could learn where I came from. And eat so much people besides for everything. Till next time, take care, okay? Way across the cinder field. Okay. Oh, sorry, buddy. I'm gonna leave a thing called necrosis alone. Call me crazy. Yeah, I've said it before. I'll say it again, though. The uh, 
the environments are beautiful in in, uh, in this expansion. I mean, not that they aren't usually, but. All oh, right, this is the uh, that destroyed village. Hey, almost there. Yeah, I just heard the little buzzing the mosquitoes in this uh, in this for in the uh, this rainforest here. It must be awful. I'm gonna go around a little bit here just to Okay, almost there. There we go. That'll bring us straight to Tactical Heartland. Remember how you insisted this forest is green. I'm not sure I follow, but okay. Um, how you insisted this forest is green. Quite steep, isn't it? Let's take our time and descend safely. Motorcycle, let's go! Full speed ahead. Oh. Hey, buddy. One of the ex excavators on the way down, apparently, but cool just cleared the way. Uh, uh, cleared away one fallen tree remaining that barreled through it. Will not single-handedly defeat someone possessed of such physical might. Nothing short of remarkable. Proceed with caution. Hey. Yeah. Away we go. Uh, this way, I think. Maybe. What's over here, though? All right. Okay. Figure I check. Why not? It's an odd sort of room hanging off. Ooh, this is pretty. Um, I can't remember what the area is called. It gives me a real, um, like, Ractika Great Wood almost vibes. Learning incident. Uh, in more than one way, take my paring stone and hold it close to the glowing rock. What do I do? Hold the paring stone in the soft glow. It affixes itself to the boulder with surprising force. Uh, iron stones are naturally magnetic. Uh, it's a meteorite filled with iron, one of the many remnants of an ancient meteor shower. Uh, if genius ether they emit causes surrounding flora to grow unique hues, as you can see. Wait, it's radioactive! Hold on! I'm, uh, I don't think we should be standing this close. I've already had enough radiation, thanks. Uh, vomiting from the heavens, we should all be merciful. Oh. Oh, okay, looking at the trees, I guess I was like, uh... Blue, it's all blue. Like, yep. Far cry from the upper forest, indeed. Yeah. Already so fascinating. I'm eager to hear uh, what the people of Mamo can tell us about it. Keep running, we're almost there. This one might be rough. 
I, I have a feeling anyway. Okay, where am I? Uh... Oh, okay. Okay. Go, go, power motorcycle. Hey, okay. more important. It is a pretty city, though. I mean, what we've seen of it so far, but... Uh, this is also my first time visiting my book. I have no experience interacting with the locals. Uh, I'm going to Rook's parting words. I would advise cautionary approach. Okay, what do I have? Okay, Ooh, okay. Um, let's, uh, let's not even question this and just uh, pop that open and... Yeah, there, there we go. Um... Pardon me. City of Silence. Uh-oh. Well, we all know what comes next. Let's find that elector. Two streets seem to converge upon this plaza, so I propose we split up. Uh, guidance, I also suggest that we err on the side of caution and move through the city in pairs. Come with me, Alizé with Kryles, Vera Company, Wuklamot. Okay. Uh, this way. Okay. These will be ambient noise. Okay. All right. Good talk. Yep. This is this is going well. Tell me you had better luck. Nope. Talk to you either. I was prepared for hard stares and harsh words, but this is something else. The building there looks like a shop, doesn't it? Let's go take a look. A merchant wouldn't ignore us, surely. Um. Yeah. Stop following me. Okay, I wasn't doing that. Okay. Move along, outsiders. Okay. That's, uh, yep. There's, uh, there's cold shoulder. Then there's, uh, you know, <laughs> there's, uh, the temperature below that that we're getting here. It's, uh, whoo. How are we supposed to find the elector if nobody will even speak with us? Hi. Everyone hear me. Come to the massive stone structure west side of the city as quickly as you can. Okay, I don't like the sounds of that. Up there. Oh. Bested. By a mere shade. Zororcha? Papa? Not as you know him. What you see is an arcane manifestation of the Dawn Servant as he was in his prime. 
Uh oh. Ooh. Um. Huh. Fascinating. I hate it. The channeler is Irelja, Autark of Mamok, and Elector for the Feet of the Brotherhood. Duly Yolal's mightiest warrior. Yet wisest you are not. You who spurned your retainer's shade when battling your betters. That's, uh, that's a little harsh, but... Prove oneself superior to blessed siblings by surpassing the shade of Galul Jarjar himself. That is the final feat. That's, uh, ooh. The first promise fought alone and fell short, but that is now the least of his concerns. Uh-oh. Who could have let your foolishness end with your failure? But instead, you attempted to harm an anointed... Alector. Oh, crud. Soralja. As of this moment, you are no longer a claimant. This will go poorly. I disqualify you from the right of succession. Be gone from my sight. Hmm. Wonder what that was. This isn't over yet. I will be the one to reach the Golden City. Uh oh. I don't like. When Zorocha was defeated, he tried to take the keystone by force, but he was thwarted by Father Shade. My dearest child, welcome home. This feat was made for you. Only blessed siblings could hope to defeat Gulul Jaja. But ere we begin, I would see the fruits of your triumphs. Come, show me your tablets. I, I have a, you know, let's uh, go. this where are your keystones explain yourself boy Man, about that no matter not all can be expected to go to plan what keystones you lack you can easily take. I... I tried. But, but I couldn't. I... cannot beat her. You mean to tell me... that you... glory of Mamu... For whom all here have sacrificed, were defeated by your inferiors. Oh, start to see why he's such a dick now. This guy's an asshole. I already want to kick him. <sighs> you are as useless as your siblings. A failure. Wow. You're a horrible father. Can never return. You have no place here. 
Damn. Huh? Oh. Let's go, brother. Wow. That's harsh. Worthless. Pathetic. This was our chance to claim sovereignty, and he ruins it. Wow. I hate him. Can we fight him? But when these stragglers fail, Gulul Jaja will be forced to extend his rule. And in the next rite of succession, we will present a better claimant. So come. Stand before me and fall. Wow. I won't do your trial. Oh, you intend to forfeit the right? Papa wants his successor to intimately understand the country he loves. Every step of my journey, I've learned something about our peoples and their cultures. I would do the same here in Mamuk. The Mamulja deserve nothing less. So your battle can wait. Ooh. I'm of the same mind. Father named you an elector for a reason. There must be something that he would have us learn. Do as you will, but until you triumph over the shade, you shall proceed no further. Promise, I would speak with you. Meet me on the western outskirts. Oh. <sighs> Mom doesn't like it when, uh, you know, when Dad yells at yells at the boy. Because uh, we've met thus far of all of their peculiarities, uh, but each uh, each we felt would judge claimants equally. Pardon me. This Sorelja, however, seems set in his belief that only blessed siblings are worthy of the throne. Why would his, why would the Dawn Servant name an openly biased man a lector? That won't get us anywhere. The lady, on the other hand, was the first person to address us with civility. Go meet her. Yeah, it seems like a good call. Uh, oh, there are stairs. Okay. Dignified lady. By the name of... Nothing. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Yelja. Okay. I think. Talk freely away from prying eyes. Wish to talk about... Tell me, what do you think of Mamuk? Well, we don't have much to say yet. No one wants to speak with us. All who remain in the city are devoted to their traditional ways. They believe that blessed siblings are superior, that only they are worthy of leading uh, the peoples of this continent. Uh, most would not deign to address outsiders, deeming them beneath notice. Sounds like an ideal community so far, as Bakul Jaja is concerned. I am tired, exhausted by this, this senselessness. Oh. There are others like me, but we dare not speak our truth aloud. Yet now we have an opportunity to claim to reclaim our agency. For you have bested Bakul Jaja. It was 
hosts a brawl inferior by all presumptions triumphed over our two-headed champion. This time, anyway. Next time, I might not be so lucky, but Jaja is just that strong. I seriously don't understand why he cheats so much. Uh, it seems to me he'd do better if he just trusted his own abilities. He's desperate. Other blessed siblings have fallen before. Mola Jaja of the Silver Scales, for one... He traveled across the salt in search of conquest, only to be overcome. Yeah, that's kind of my fault. Um, uh, no matter how the individual may falter, the people still believe in Blessed Sibling's supremacy. Because of my father. Yeah, that's pretty much true. Uh, he who united to all under one rule, uh, who in their eyes stands as testament to the tradition's infallibility, regardless of your father's virtuous intention or intent. Uh, his greatest triumph only fanned the flames of our people's obsession. Uh, as both his daughter and claimant to his legacy, your triumph could prove that Ghoul Jaja's true strength lies not in his birth, but in his character. And in doing so, uh, you may give us the strength to renounce blessed siblings forever. Wanting to forsake zealotry, but isn't forsaking to edit um, Buljak going a bit far. Uh, you must decide that for yourself, whether the price we pay is worth an empty dream. Whether the price we pay... Oh. I'm wondering if that pit is like a Sparta pit or something like that, where they toss kids over? Like... That's really dark if it is, but something to show you. Uh, there's a place that will help you understand our plight far to the west of here. Follow me. Uh oh. For some reason I don't really like this. It feels uh, feels like I'm about to see something I don't want to. I'm not sure I want to have seen. Again, though, it is extremely pretty here. Oh, you know what? This also reminds me of um, where the sylphs live. That's in the Twelves Wood. That's what this place reminds me of with all the uh, insane plants. Is that a meteorite up there? Aye, and judging by their attachment, the tree must benefit from the meteorite's unique ether. Should press on. Anxious to see. Okay. Cerulean. Zeudros? I'm not, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to pronounce that, but, oh well. Hunting camp, not... Love to talk to the Mimulja hunters and learn about their ways, except they'd probably ignore me. Continued on, let's catch up. Foes. Oh, we're going further. Got Drock Descent. Well, that doesn't sound good. As this is the place you wanted to show us. It lies just beyond this passage. Entry to these grounds is not permitted even to the devout. Nonetheless, I would reveal our secrets to you. Rest assured, I shall take full responsibility. Come, see for yourself the truth of the blessed. This seems like it might be bad.
Okay, some pretty blue flowers. I have a feeling this isn't going to stay that way. Okay, that is a really big cave underneath. What's... I shouldn't have looked down. <clears throat> the stone pier yonder. That is our destination. Dope. To erect it there would have been no small feat. The work of Yokui hands built long, long ago. Our forebearers merely altered the entrance. Oh, okay. Altered? To what end? <sighs> it will be quicker to show you. We have beasts that can carry us below. Hi there. Oh, you're actually really pretty. I want, I kind of want one. That has. Uh-oh. A cool cha-cha. What? Could it wait to laugh at the barrier? You've always come here to cry. Ever since you were little. Mother. Yeah, I kind of called that. The third promise seeks to learn about Mamuk. She may be our chance to finally end what we have been powerless to stop. Talk with her. Tell her what we have done. Oh. Fine. Perhaps it's only right that we be the ones to speak of it. Less as we are. Starting to feel like this is not such a good thing. holds the remains of a two-headed babonja. An infant. <laughs> we converted the ruins into a cenotaph. So the souls of these children wouldn't return as vengeful spirits. Oh, this is Scott. Do you know how blessed siblings are made? I've heard that they are born to Hubago and Bunawa parents. Such unions between clans were originally arranged to stop infighting. The war against the Shebran was going poorly, and we needed to be united. Then, one day, a child was born, 
one blessed with two heads and tremendous power. So they kept trying to do it. When this child grew old enough to lead our army, we became unstoppable. The Shebral had no answer, and we drove them all the way back to the trees above. That taste of victory awakened our greed. We became obsessed with conceiving more and more of these superior children. No matter the cost. Yeah. Of the countless born, most die. Trapped in their shells. Oh. Only one in a hundred survive. Oh. Just about spat out my water. Oh, jeez. It is only because we yet live. Unlike our brothers and sisters who were sacrificed for the glory of Mamuk. Oh. That's horrible. Of course it's horrible. It's an atrocity we can never take back. Those children died so that we could live. So we had to succeed, no matter what. To fail would mean it was all for nothing. Nothing. Oh, jeez. But I did fail. I squandered their sacrifice. I hate this. Don't use them as an excuse. Like, whoa. I think I have to say that one, like, because the other, you know, the other option is just harsh. I should never have been born. Wow. Uh, got really heavy all of a sudden. Wow. Gonna have to put a a warning in this one when I post it to YouTube. Holy! Ask to be born as you are, and you are responsible for your siblings' deaths. The people obsessed with blessed siblings are. They made their choices, but they don't make yours. Since when do you let others push you around, Bakul Jaja? What do you want? Say it! I... want it to end. I don't want any more to die. Then you have my word. We'll put a stop to this madness. Blessed siblings are revered by their supporters as a means to achieve dominance in Taral. If we understand why they harbor such aspirations in the first place, we would be better equipped to treat with them. Indeed. I just hope they will be open to discourse. I doubt that, but... Take me with you. Those fanatics treat my words as gospel. Okay. No. There will be trouble if your father finds out you're still here. Moshutural Zush. There we will gather the people and ask anything the Third Promise wishes to know. Then take one of my scapes, one that blends the Hubiko and Bunewa coloring. It'll serve as proof that you have our trust. People will do as you say if you show it to them. Okay. I 
I gotta say, this went from, like, you know, me hating this guy to, like, really feeling sorry for him in, like, the course of an hour. That's, I, I don't know many I'm video sorry. games that can do that. For what I've said and done, I don't expect your forgiveness. I mean, the part where you released the primal kind of sucked, dude. Like... <laughs> You had your reasons. I'm glad I could know them. Also, I'm, I think I'm only just now realizing this guy is huge. You're not a complete alpaca's ass. <sighs> Well, maybe it's for the best. Hatred is exhausting, after all. Indeed. So let us make the most of our newfound friendship and bring together the people of Mamook. We have much to discover. Yeah, oof. Yeah, wow, this uh this got really heavy all of a sudden. Bridger and the others, can we talk for a moment? Really hated him, you know. Every fiber of my being. Tried to ruin Ihana, sabotaged us on the river, kidnapped me for my keystones, released the most vicious vidral of all time, anything he could have do to cause pain he did never in a million years would i forgive him uh, but the moment i understood why he did what he did the pain uh, he's been carrying this whole time all my anger just evaporated um i'm gonna ask this one because this is really uh you know she does need to be able to make this decision if she's gonna lead you know be uh be the leader right but it's like okay well I hear you, but Kultusha's motives don't absolve him of his crimes. He must answer for them like anyone else. But right now, my duty is to ensure that no one in Mamut feels desperate enough to go to such lengths ever again. Anyway, thanks for listening. Really, challenges to come. Okay. Okay. Oh, I've done that. Where am I going? Okay. All the way back here? Cool. We're just gonna do this the fast way. <laughs> as pretty as this place is, I'll just teleport back and not drive back. Okay. Uh, where am I? Over here. Scale represents his faith in us. We won't fail him. We won't fail his people. Okay. Scale of trust. Having a moment to lose. Nearly a jaws. Abandoned settlement northwest of the city. Should afford us privacy. We require we quickly discover our intentions. Given us additional scales, so we might cover more ground in less time. Take one and get going. Use them to gather as many people as you can. Okay, so we're going down into the village to gather some people. Retrace our steps. Convince folks to lend us a hand. Okay. I'll tell you to move along. Excuse me. <laughs> I have a plot device. Would you like to talk to me? Call an assembly. I'm not sure what to make of this. Go to whatever I want. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Leave you alone. Got it. Yeah. 
Pardon me, sir. I have a plot device. Trust you and so will I. What does it require of me? Uh, bids us come to whatever strange place for an assembly very well. I will not refuse. Uh, he who fights for our dreams. Gather some good folk. I gathered some folk. I don't know if they're good folk. Just be pleased. This fellow here will be coming. Whatever as well. Okay. A jewel nursery west called Goldmack Grove. Could you go see if you can talk to anyone there? I'll meet you there afterwards. Okay. Uh, okay, um, going out the city this way, I think. Yeah. I think I'm just following the road. That is a very large mushroom person. Is anything like the ones in Dark Souls? I shall be one shot accordingly. There's a fate nearby. I shall not partake. Leave this place outsider. I has plot armor. My apologies, I'm so unaware. I thank you, blessed scale bearer, bringing me words of this gathering. My way at once, okay? Okay, that, yeah, that changed really quickly. Um, but I think I can just follow the road. That is a very large pit. Thankfully, I followed the road. There's more meteorites, too. What is that? Well, oh, that's an enemy. Okay, um, be careful of that. It's very pretty, though, still, so won't complain about that. That's like a weird, like, bird creature. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. Nope. Okay, what's going on? Second promise as well. Need I remind you that this right is a competition? The advantage you're about to share with me, you ought to utilize to your own benefit. Barely made headway in communicating with the locals at this rate, you'll lead the race to the Golden City. Need your help to complete the feat. No, no, I'm okay. That's a problem I can't solve on my own, and you're the most clever person I know. I want you to hear the people firsthand so that we might come up with a way to help them. Very well, I'm at your disposal. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Let's 
scales they showed you were mine, I entrusted them to the third promise and her retinue. Well, I honor these outsiders, so... The Plumat has won my trust, now you will hear her words. Alright. Uh, shared with me the truth about blessed siblings, about the price you pay to conceive them. As an outsider to your community, it's not my place to judge you or your culture. Uh, culture is born from the experiences of its people, their lives, and their land. But it breaks my heart to know that yours has brought you all so much suffering. Many here wish to break the uh, break from the cycle of tragedy that creating blessed sibling demands. I ask that you join us. I don't want any more of our children to die. You think we want this? We have no choice. Only blessed siblings can liberate us from our suffering. Without them, we have nothing. That remains to be seen. Speak with the third promise. Share with her your worries and your pain, and together we may find a new way forward. She is trustworthy, and I will speak with her. Best if you withdrew, my son. Uh, many cannot speak freely in your presence. Keep an eye out for Zerilja. Uh, he wouldn't take kindly to this sort of gathering. Once we've understood everyone's concerns, we'll be better equipped to help them. Uh, let's make sure they feel heard. Okay. Yeah, like I said, this this got really uh, this got really really heavy all of a sudden. That was uh, was not really expecting that. That was a huge like tonal shift. <laughs> uh, glad Kona agreed to help us. Always been good at solving complicated problems. Me not so much, but I'll support my people however I can. Combining our uh, Respective strengths will help discover a new source of hope. Okay. Um. What, uh, what changed? Canvas's key features further expanded. Oh, I got more uh, creature motifs. Okay. Almost speaks. All right, before we start, let's make sure uh, we're remembering our history correctly. Raw fought for centuries over the land in the upper forest, but due to infighting, forces struggled to make significant gains or promote cooperation. Clans intermarried, first conceived. With that in mind, let's talk to people and learn why they rely on blessed siblings. Uh, this land was rich with ore once, but the yoke boy did not stop digging until all the veins were spent. The meteorites are only good for so much. Uh, even if we made overtures to trade uh, to traders, we have little to offer. Uh, nothing would make me happier than to make a good life for my family in the place where I was born, but that's impossible. Uh, so with resources as sparse as they are, you don't have good prospects for trade. Okay. Uh, those who have known only open skies and bountiful lands cannot comprehend our plight. Uh, to thrive, we must take what we lack by force. For that, we need the might of blessed siblings. No other way to thrive. Don't require fighting. Okay. You've noticed the forest is very dark. Hardly any sunlight makes it through the canopy. It feels like it's always nighttime. We plow, we fertilize, we irrigate, and our crops shrivel and die as though cursed. Uh... The only one that grows well is the Najul, Banana of Tral Tribe. 
living on that and a little else for a few centuries and see how you like it. Forests where nothing grows. No hard to imagine you'd want to leave. Promised us more than strength. They promised us the sun. Uh, this forest is dark and inhospitable. Went given the opportunity to live in Tuliola. Most of our people didn't think twice. Still, the prospect of being among so many outsiders was intimidating to know if to keep many of us here. Blessed siblings are meant to deliver us from this accursed forest, lead us to fertile lands above, uh, where we might make a place for Mamulja to abide in peace and plenty. Desire fertile lands, ones that you own. Yeah, that's understandable. Born here has their own perspective, but all their concerns were about the forest itself. Dark and fertile, cursed. Hearing that, it's a little wonder that the people here wish they had better land, and who better to get it from, get it for them than the blessed siblings? It's hard to conceive, uh, convince people to stay in a place that can't provide what they need. Uh, you'd think the meteorites at least would have value, but apparently not. Hold on, didn't Aaronvale mention something about meteorites? That ether they emitted makes plants glow blue? Rather significant uh, physiological effect, I would say. If I were to study these meteorites, I might discover other ways they influence local flora. Once there was a curious amalgam of trees, oh, tree and meteorite just south of here. Interact with might yield crucial insights. Yeah, thank you so much. Just need a moment to investigate further. Please bear with us. Okay. Hey, Ooh, that's far away. Um, Cause yeah, I was just like, wait a minute. To me, uh, when they said the thing about like, oh yeah, they have met odd ether. I was like, wait a minute, that sounds like radiation. Like I'm not, uh, you know, not super keen on the whole radiation thing. I've uh, I've had enough of that for one lifetime. So we're uh, yeah. Yep. It's really incredible how a tree could support such an enormous boulder. Meteorites' etheric emissions are, are palpable even from this distance. Seeing this again makes me feel more confident in sharing a theory of mine. I suspect that only plants with an etheric affinity to these meteorites can thrive in this forest. If so, the gargantuan trees that create the dense canopy would, by necessity, possess the same affinity as well as the aforementioned Nanul trees. Or, what up, banana trees. Indeed, I'd like to analyze a sample of meteorite before drawing any definitive conclusions. A few devices, even Kral could lend your expertise. There, the etheric signatures of those meteorites may be crucial in determining the manner of species that might fare well here. Cursed forest isn't quite so cursed. Maybe people won't feel like blessed siblings are the only solution. How can I help? Want me to climb the tree and break off a piece of meteorite? Plenty of fragments on the ground already should be enough to gather about five pieces. Okay. Okay, so we're all going to gather a piece of meteorite. Got it. Or, yeah, no, that's what we're doing. And more importantly, how, um, okay, over here, I was like, uh, more importantly, it says down how I get, how I down. There we go. Uh, wait. Meteorite shard, okay. Okay. 
Okay. Another cool crystal. Almost there. There you go, buddy. There you go. And gathered samples, conducted analysis, determined the wavelength, take a while. Later efforts bear fruit. Tell my sister to wait. Okay. Wait back where we were. Um Can I get up over here? Looks like maybe. Maybe. Uh. All right, let's just, you know. Not bother any of the uh, weird, like, spirit nature chicken thing, whatever things. I don't know. First thing about Charlie and device of devices of his, if they can help. Okay. Uh, Get those. Run me. Choice words for us if he knew what we were up to, but his people are my people. I can't ignore their plight. I'm going to call myself Don Servant one day. I have to bring an end to the tragedy here. Many are depending on me, but we'll judge on at least of all. Sure, Conan and the others will be back with their report soon. I like to wait. I hope this one's spoken. No, okay. Light of our news, I thought it only right to call the others. Analysis has yielded many valuable insights. I dare say the prognosis is hopeful. Earlier we asked about the hopes you placed in blessed siblings, why they are so important to you. Overwhelming response was a frustration towards this forest. Lack of natural resources to the inability to cultivate crops in all respects. Uh, have you ever struggled to build a prosperous home? Uh, thus in your understandable desire for new lands. However, uh, this would be an unfortunate dismissal of what makes your, for your forest uh, uniquely valuable. That is, the soil. Our tests have proven without a doubt uh, that the heartland is abundantly fertile. May be surprising to hear, uh, as you've seen crops fail time and time again, but we've discovered the root of the problem as well. The meteorites scattered throughout the forest emit unusual energy, greatly influences the development of the surrounding plant life. Some plants thrive on this energy, like the banana trees and the great trees that create the canopy, but others, as you well know, are sickened by it. Fortunately, the solution is simple. 
Frost to Salt uh, in a place called Charlie, and there's a peerless collection of flora sampled from every corner of the world. Now that we know what energies are most prevalent in your forest, we can offer your seed, uh, you seeds and starters guaranteed to thrive here. I took the liberty contacting a few of my colleagues via Link Pearl. Uh, should you desire them, a sample of our best candidates can be shipped here in short order. Just as Iorzi acquired the Popoto and Tomato from Tyrol, so too might we benefit from foreign crops. You mean we'd be able to grow more than the jewel? Precisely. Uh, while care must be taken to choose species uh, that will not have adverse effects on the ecosystem, your agricultural options should increase markedly. And with the right crop, Mamuk will have all it needs to prosper both at home and in trade. Blessed siblings wouldn't have to be the answer anymore. There was never any need to fight, never any need to sacrifice. We can't change the past, but we can try to make the future better. There we go, buddy. Let the old teachings end with us. Whoa. I know Blessed Siblings represent absolute strength to you. Letting go of that idea can't be easy. Prove uh, when we work together, our combined strength can achieve anything. Yeah, show us promise. There's another way for our children and our home will no longer suffer in silence. Sometimes we have to fight alone, but not this time. Would you say a few words, Fira? I saved the planet. Anything is possible when we work together. Our victory over Malagamanda is proof of that. Faithful allies at your side. You can even save the entire star. That, I'm going to say. Friends both old and new, you can find... Yeah. I'm going to say this one. Yeah, because I did it. Saving the star is far beyond the scope of our needs, but I acknowledge the value of allies. <laughs> is that what we want to say? Now all that's left is to feed my father's shaded feet of the Brotherhood and clear the way for Mamuk. Okay. Uh, do not give us cause to question our faith in you. Please live up to your words. Complete this feat, we'll be sure to tell Zeril Jaw the good news about his forest. I'm sure he's as eager as anyone to eat what tasty fruits still grow here. Depends on how much of a purist, I guess, he is. Fashion, even for the likes of him, you continue to eclipse me in every way. That's a simple choice. Uh oh, I think he's dropping out. Oh, buddy. Just nervous about what uh, the first promise is going to do. That uh, it still kind of worries me, to be quite honest. Okay. Going on ahead. Never a sample so fiercely collected. Exodus would find new purpose here. Help these people improve all the better. Meet our comrades. Okay. I have a feeling we're going to... Uh... You know, I have a weird feeling we're doing Trial 2 Electric Boogaloo. Uh... Oh, yeah, new location. Okay. That was, that was easy. Uh, okay, where am I, where am I going here? Uh, this, this way. Yeah, yeah. Alright. I'm here about getting my teeth kicked in. Yeah, I said that right. Oh.
I'm proceeding, cutscenes play in sequence. Okay. Okay. Serelja, <laughs> I'm ready for the final feat. <laughs> Grown weary of postponing the inevitable, have you? Something like that. You see, I've learned all sorts of things about Mamuk and your people. Is that supposed to impress me? I now understand why I need to surpass blessed siblings. The cost of producing superior offspring is destroying your people's souls. Look at them, and you'll see this. Ooh. So I'll defeat my father's shade and prove to you that there's a better path for Mamuk. What drivel! Without the blessed, we are nothing but weaklings! Dude, to fade into obscurity. Oof. Of course you're weak. We all are, each and every one of us. But when we join hands, we gain the strength to overcome any foe. Even Vali Yarmanda. Enough talk. Prove your mettle against Gulul Jaja, the finest warrior ever to have graced Tural. Fine by me. Not even Papa's shade will stop me from upholding his legacy. I will fight alongside her. Hello again. Claimants are not permitted to assist one another. Second promise. But you may observe your sister's pitiable attempt. I see. In that case... It seems I'm no longer a claimant. I am now free to participate, I trust. What are you scheming? Nothing. I've simply come to realize who is worthy of following in Father's footsteps. Not our brother. Not Bakul Jaja. And not me. You have always held the happiness of our people closest to your heart, Lamachi. So I will do everything in my power to ensure you ascend to the throne. This is how I shall repay father for his kindness. This is how I shall serve Tuli Yolal. Oh, that's cute. Now I don't have to break Thankard's kneecaps. I could always count on you, Kona. Thank you. <laughs> It will make no difference. So we're doing a trial? Not in the face of true might. Like, I'm, I'm kind of confused. Gulul Jaja, mightiest of the blessed. Arise! Everyone ready? No, let's do this anyway. <laughs> oh, Iron Bill's like, what do you expect me to do? Like, <laughs> he's like, run away. <laughs>
Oh, okay, we're just doing this. Okay. Um... Okay, hang on. Okay, wait, why am I pulling? Um, okay, well, if that's the case, eat this. Oh, good lord, what's going on? These blaze sundered Baligarbanda scales. Blades of fire rain. God, let me fucking paint, game. <sighs> Take that. for battle. Paralyzing effect. Defend the afflicted. We must free them. Target the constricting flames. None can outrun my flames. Okay, well, this is uh. Okay, let me fucking target the boss, goddammit! <sighs> Guys, you're making it really hard to stand in my circle. Um... Ow! Okay, well...
Hey, can I stand still and fucking cast a spell? God damn it. Fuck's sakes. Stop making me fucking move. I wonder why people bitch about some of these fights. They just every time constantly fucking moving. Surely this will quench your thirst for battle. Okay. Oh, this looks like it's gonna hurt. Uh. Yeah, it, it looks like it's gonna hurt. Everyone, get behind me! I've got a bad feeling about this. Will you have the strength to stand up to this? I will protect my people. Uh, I, I don't know if there's anything I can actually do. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Impressive, but I'm not finished yet. We will see Lama Chi become done servant. For Tuliola. Have a time. There we go, nice. Yeah, again, I really hate fighting this guy because there's so much movement. And I mean, that's probably like a a problem with Pictomancer, but like, jeez, some of the phases, I just don't ever get to stand still. To accept this, ain't that a bit stubborn? Even for you. Oh. Arugadin. It couldn't be. Tanqua, it's been too long. It has indeed. You're looking more imposing since last I saw you, Wuklamat. Tonkwa? My Turali moniker. Galul Jaja insisted I take one, saying my birth name was too cumbersome for the local tongues. Hang on, we found the pirate captain? That birth name being Ketanram, I presume. Ketanram's that legendary Eorzean sailor, the one with the pickled cabbage. We can talk about me cabbage later. Okay, that really sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> Zarelja, whether you like it or no, these young'uns accomplished the feat. 
To deny Wuklamat her reward would be to betray the Dawn Servant's trust. And what should she be rewarded for? Calling upon her minions to carry her to victory! <laughs> I want to say that one. I really wanted to say number two, though. Comrades, you believe a ruler should be reliant upon such? But, but Galul Jaja was, or the, you know, Papa Together, was. We can achieve anything. You needn't place your faith in the promise of blessed siblings. How would you have us reclaim our glory? <laughs> With friendship and community. With us. If you mean to rule, you should be more sparing with your offers of clemency. Especially to a man who has sacrificed countless young lives. Nevertheless, I will fulfill my charge as Elector. In recognition of your feet, I bestow upon you a keystone. Okay, cool. Congratulations are nearly in order, I suppose. I'm confident that you will find the Golden City in no time. You've grown much and more during this journey. Become someone ready to lead our nation. Little Lamachi no longer. As your brother, I couldn't be more proud. Thank you. Yeah, they got good voice acting and uh, voice direction for this game too. My gratitude for your cooperation, and my regret for failing to live up to expectations. Nonsense. If you believe Wukla Mart is the woman for the job, then you have our wholehearted support. One last thing. I wish to speak to you both from the heart. Unpracticed as I am. This may sound hackneyed, but... I am truly grateful to have met you. <laughs> Words spoken with such feeling would resonate with any fortunate enough to hear them. Though our journey together hath ended, ever shall we cherish the memories. Aye. And should you require further esoteric musings or biting witticisms, don't hesitate to call. I dare say we'll come flocking. Hey, Thranker, remember earlier when you <laughs> tried to crush us with I a boulder in a myself. cave? <laughs> As I recall, our contract remains in effect until we've escorted the Second Promise back to the capital. I leave my sister in your capable hands. See that she returns home safely. No promises. Okay, promises. You've still moms to go yet, Wuklama. The right ain't over till you find the city of gold. I know. But if I can come this far, I can go all the way.
Okay. Let's go and tell the people of our victory. Okay, oh. We're just coming to you. We did it. Nolja, we proved to the Autarchs that not even my father's full power could overcome the strength of our fellowship. Yeah, you would. I was right to trust you. Fulfilled your promise. Now it's our turn. Uh, you've shown us another way that we can build uh, the lives we've always wanted here in our homeland without sacrifice. Uh, since our new crops will come from across the salt, salt I suppose uh, we'll have to treat with outsiders as equals of course inside or outside we're all just people yep when you're not used to all the color and variety different uh, difference can feel like obstacles by learning more about what makes us different we can also find common ground in places we've never expected uh, something new may become something you love Someone you once hated might one day become your friend. Never know unless you keep an open mind. Well, it may feel scary. Taking that first step towards understanding is always worth it. Of course, learning about the outsiders may well help but will grow. What happens when they learn about us? About what we've done? Yeah, they won't. Generations, our covenant has been kept secret, and so it shall remain. Atrocities committed here were facilitated by the autarches. We and no, no one else are, are responsible for my deeds. I am prepared to forfeit my life, but I will not suffer others to be damned alongside me. But once being damned and your life is in forfeit, the last thing the city needs is more death. Uh, but cool, Jojo hasn't found, hasn't fought this hard off. Uh, for this long only to lose his father. Truly responsible to be the first to extend understanding to others on behalf of Mamuk. <laughs> the community is waiting for you here in, in Tuliolo. Yeah. Also, unless I'm mistaken, I'm kind of responsible it back in like original ARR for beating a two-headed Mamulja, I think, in um, Wandering City, I believe it is. I believe it's called. Things right, my love. We could choose a different side of history. Thank you, Third Promise. Thank you for everything. Okay, this all turned out well, but I'm kind of nervous because I'm wondering what First Promise is going to try and do. It's only an explanation about that cabbage, you know. Okay. Nice. The are have, oh, have, have accepted you. Merchants and vendors are now available for use. Okay. Not really super concerned about that. Okay, buddy. Road to the Golden City. No place for a proper chat. My cabin's just north. The city, Blue Eyes Abode, as people here call it, on account of me dazzling twinklers. Uh, okay. Uh, this way. Let's play it. Yeah, this looks like it. Okay. 
Okay, where are we? Here we are. Not apologizing for parking the motorcycle inside. If you don't want it to happen, have a door. I used to settle down in Mamuk. They haven't exactly been welcoming to outsiders, legendary explorer or otherwise. All the more reason to keep a weathered eye on them. Uh, though seeing how you've won them over, and we still have less need for vigilance. Miracle will judge us behest to ensure his hard won peace is kept. And incidentally, to remind Surreal Jaw of his duty as elector, should he have forgotten it. Uh, that's, that's kind of fair. He was kind of a dick. My old man ordered you to stay here. That's no way to treat an honored guest. I'm more than your father's guest by now. Or did you see the sepulcher atop Gerzor War? That's right, Kettenrum was one of the names. Father and I fought shoulder to shoulder many a battle. Uh, yeah, Valley being but one of our triumphs, he and I are brothers. So when your brother uh, tells you to stand watch, you stand watch. You, know, you trust his judgment and his strength of will. When that means you have to sit out occasional scrap. You understand a bond. Surrounded. As you are by all these bright and eager faces. I do. My comrades are my strength. And it's thanks to them that I understand uh, Papa so for the nation I continue to protect. Prove your readiness for the throne. Find the Golden City. These ones beside me, uncover the legend. Okay. Especially since I believe I already ha- Ooh. All by yourself? How? When? Yeah. So, you know, electors are forbidden from giving unfair advantage to claimants. So when refused to divulge why my grandfather passed through 20 years ago, his silence spoke volumes. Well, as as it had something to do with the Golden City. Precisely. Moreover, only the Yahoi who lived in Yachtel ever dreamt of those Golden Cities. Or Golden Gates. I can't remember what it was. When exposed to certain triggers, those with magical aptitude have been known to receive visions. Of Gerfurler's abilities are at all representative. The Yahoi are no stranger to the Arcane, which means the dreamers of Eld likely owe their experiences, their inherent qualities, and their proximity to the city itself here in this forest. Uh, search Yachtel from top to bottom. You have us to try and narrow our focus. I propose we return to Mamuk and make inquiries. Take all the opportunities to see any of this travel prep. Symbol at the etherite. Okay. Um, so it's here? I thought it might be across the bridge to the north. You Kalulius boy, ain't you? Told me about you. She tasked you with finding the Golden City. Huh. Might even succeed despite my best efforts. I had begun to think was a fool's errand. My own fruitless search in my youth proved as much. Here you are, older and wiser, playing the fool again. Courtesy of the company I've been keeping, perhaps, Wuklamot's uh, not the only one to have grown thanks to her comrades. We'll find it together. Aw, oh, buddy! <clears throat> was I ever that young? Hmm. Okay, I'm curious about what, uh, oh. Keterim knows my mentors, chatted a bit longer. 
meet by the etherite I'll see you there. Okay. Not that far on the ride. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm uh, I'm curious how this is all gonna play out though. But I am looking forward to it, so Okay. Okay. Uh, more than happy to mend my gear and sell me supplies. Hardly believe they were adverse to hitting, ever adverse to hitting visitors. How many the jewel they gave me? Now all we need is a hint to point us in the right direction. City of Gold, here we come. I think I can offer that much. Oh, okay. I have an inkling where the City of Gold might be. Or Golden City, pardon. I am forbidden for speaking of the Golden City, but my wife is beholden to no such constraints. <laughs> okay. Tell us would be greatly appreciated. Lived here for centuries. There is no corner of the forest we do not intimately know, except for one. Uh, the place I showed you is in confess to that stone pier entrance to the Sky Deep Cenote. Find no resting place for children lost for a zealotry. Previous few are permitted beyond the cenotaph doors, and we have not explored its deepest recesses. If the Golden City is in Yachtaral, it may well be hidden there. Whoa. No reason to refuse. No longer will we rely on blessed siblings, nor will we conceal our sacrifices made to conceive them. Whoa. No longer under our protection, it is dismal burial ground, and our children deserve better. Bodies will move to a place of comfort and peace. That's okay. Judge, I would appreciate that. We're here to offer any help if you need it. Well, your father also vented the set of staff. Come to think of it, it was many years ago now. But a notable affair. Uh, due to the foreigner, he brought with him a mage, I believe. Uh, did not disclose his reasons, but he descended past our cenotaph and into the old Yokoi quarries. Interesting. Dungeon? Outlet's the very same one. Uh, one's excavated by Fort Lorpor streamers, and the Golden City must be there. Maybe. You will set out straight away. Still lingering in the descent, they'll carry you below. Okay, are we going into a dungeon now? I'm kind of curious, or is it a new area? Just a new area, maybe. Hmm. Sky Deep sent out. Hmm. Okay, that was a long drive. Okay. Well. Nothing to it but to do it. Let's get... Yeah. Let's get going. Okay, yeah, all right. 
long drive. So, kind of, like I said, I'm curious if it's going to be a dungeon, maybe, or um, just another, like, new area, maybe. I mean, we'll find out shortly, I suppose, but... Yeah, like I said, this, um, this area, like a huge tonal shift, kind of almost jarring. Pardon me. Because, uh, you know, the the previous area was, like, serious and whatnot, but not, not quite like this, right? Like, this was very, uh, it was a very serious tonal shift uh, in this area. But, you know, the writers did pull it off well and not complaining. It's more, uh, I'm just making, uh, making observations, I guess you could say. What? Oh, well. Okay, I thought I could paint more, uh... Whatever, but it might be because I wasn't level uh, 96 that I couldn't paint uh, paint more uh, more beast paintings. That one I'm not 100% sure. Okay, I'm in the right place. Okay. Posing beast. I still want one. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of a hippogriff or something almost. I'm not sure what exactly it is, but I mean, it's a fantasy creature, right? But Yep. Uh, yeah, this place isn't creepy at all. <laughs> Attack, which means to be on these doors is ready succession or no to start when the souls the rest here feels wrong I know but I can't turn back let's pay our respects at the very least okay let's go okay ready to complete my journey Okay, but we haven't even gone north yet. Okay, I'm calling it dungeon. Okay, yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, this place isn't creepy at all. Okay, uh... Uh, no, here. Average wait type 22 minutes. Ooh, okay, I hope that's not, uh, I hope that's not accurate. Oh, that's rough. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I guess, uh, uh, for those of you who, uh, are potentially watching this on YouTube at some point, um, just, uh, I guess comment down below as well, uh, if you get to this point in the video, how you're, in, you know, how you, you know, you enjoyed the story, um, how, how you kind of, uh, you know, how, if you, uh, like this part of the story or this part of the, uh, you know, because like I said, this, this felt really heavy, right? Not to, uh, again, I'm not, like, disparaging it. It's just, that was, that's a pretty heavy topic, right? 
Uh, oh, yeah, so if I'm level... Okay, so I have to be level 96 to be able to use it. Okay. Duration of adult up. That's not super important. Um, Starstruck upon executing story muse. Okay, I'll worry about what that does later. Um, <clears throat> hey. Yeah. Also, I mean, I guess I shouldn't, uh, you know, dismiss some... Um, if anybody is watching, potentially, um, which, I mean, you know, uh, you know, lurkers, I suppose, uh, you know, if, uh, how, how you thought about, uh, yeah, this, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty heavy topic. I don't like, uh, dwelling on it, but I mean, what else am I supposed to do, right? <laughs> Hopefully I don't have to wait too, too long, but uh, we'll have to see. Yeah, depending on uh, where it leaves us after the dungeon, might uh, might call it after the dungeon here. But, uh, yeah, who knows. Oh, yeah. So everybody, ready? Everybody ready for the weekend? Looking forward to it. end of the week. Yeah, how about that old sports team? <laughs> yeah, and like I said again, I am. Um, I'm. Uh, I, I would say apprehensive or kind of nervous um, about uh, you know what um, Zaril Jaw, uh, the first promise is uh, is going to end up doing or uh, try and do to uh, you know because I, I have a feeling that uh, that those two uh, those two aren't quite done. Uh, done scheming yet so we'll see them next time gadget you know as as uh old dr claw might say for uh you know the no people who are gonna get that reference uh <laughs> kind of dating myself with that but whatever Nothing to it, but uh, you know, keep on, keep on, keeping on, and we'll uh, we'll be able to see for ourselves what uh, what they're what that uh, that pair is going to try and do, I suppose. Yeah, this one is taking a while. I mean, the other ones didn't quite uh, pop instantaneously, but. I suppose because it's Friday evening, more people on, maybe more people raiding. Uh, hard to say. <clears throat> uh, that and of course, you know, if I try and get up to refill my water or get a drink or anything like that, that's when, uh, you know, the, uh, the dungeon will pop, so... Pardon me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, big yawn if I had a long day. So, like I said, I think uh, once this is over um, and I get to a uh, suitable point, I'll probably leave it. Or uh, I'll probably call it, I should say, for tonight. But, uh, 
but yeah, I am, uh, like, I am liking Pictomancer. Um, the bigger thing I'm realizing, uh, in some of these, like, more complicated encounters is, um, that, uh, pardon me, I probably need to, uh, get a little better at, um, sort of, uh, maybe not learning the rotation, but, um, learning uh sort of when and where you're supposed to probably or uh, you're supposed to try and get in like a, get a painting in i guess you could call it right um or uh i i don't know if i can swift cast a painting um that one i'm not 100 percent sure on because i don't know if it actually counts as a spell um that one, I yeah, I'd have to try during combat. Can't, it says it's a spell. I could potentially do that. Hmm. Huh. That might be uh, how I how I'm supposed to be using uh, Swift Cast. Now that I think about it, um, yeah. That way, every forty seconds or so, uh, you know, I get a. Um, you know, instant weapon or whatnot. Um, yeah, I mean, it is only once every once every forty seconds, but uh, issuing the uh, three second cast isn't uh, isn't a bad idea. I was also using it to uh, uh, potentially cast rainbow. What is it? Rainbow drop? Rainbow drip? Because it casts in four seconds. So, but I mean. Oh, never mind. Um, I was about to say, I think you're supposed to only try and cast it when you can for free, right? So, hey. Okay. Oh. Hey. Ooh, there was some undead there. Squiddy things, lizard people, okay. Guiding horror. Ugh. Okay. Oh, Ninja, I don't see many of those. Not a complaint, more just an observation, but... Okay, so that's how that works. I've never actually been able to cast that before. Shades and Spectres, okay. Yeah, there's probably at least a few of those kicking around. Ah! Okay. Maw motif. Cast a couple of these.
There we go. Nice. Alright, and so got that painted. Cool. Okay, let's not burn a movement ability here, We're trying to get closer. Um Feather Ray. First, be a nuisance to your party. I don't know if I did that right or if I didn't or what. Oh lord, what happened? Uh... Oh. I don't... Huh. Understand what happened. Um, I feel like I'm supposed to avoid the bubbles, right? Like, this is where I'm. Nice, okay. Yeah, nice, we got there. Uh, slaying aiming, okay, well. Pass. They belong to someone else. Oh. Rip knees! Yeah, that's a that's an odd fight. Some of the a couple of those mechanics, I'm not quite sure. Um, like if I did the right thing or if not, or there we 
Alright, we're gonna wait. Yeah, we got a lot of work to do on this, uh, this gentleman here. Thus, it's hammer time. He making striking, jeez. Everybody else eating good. Workers arise, eliminate the rats. vessels. Eh. No! Bad touch! Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Hammer time! I'm not gonna lie, those are probably some of my favorite spells. Just the, wielding the giant cartoon mallet is so fun. <laughs> yes, I am five. Or engage, firearms risen. Hi, buddy. Okay, I got like 50 something seconds before I can do hammer time, so dynamic minutes? Ow. Okay, I was just about to say, I'm really hoping that uh, where I'm standing stays good.
wrong one, that's why. Go. I was going to say, it's almost always over here, so I'm not going to... Nice! I have no okay healing pass healing okay look for thee but not for me oh hello um we have apparently entered the matrix and I'm not sure if I like it because I am definitely not Neo Time. I'd kind of like to see what the, uh, you know, the caster gear here is like, though. Bracelet of healing. Striking. Seems pretty. Oh, well, that's, um... Yep, I mean, that that is definitely a golden city. Um, pair of healing, sky deep codex. Okay, no, those are for me. Stop trying to kill me. I'm only trying to break you. Hey, okay, wait, why do they keep trying to kill me? I'm gonna try and save that because I feel like we have a boss fight coming up. Right, never mind. Okay. But again, why do I feel like we found a giant computer? Oh, hello! Titan 2, Electric Boogaloo, Sculptor of Silence, Maul Skull. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Okay, uh, like that. Pass, pass. 
Uh, I'm going to do some painting here. Ah! Okay. Oh god, what the fuck? Okay, that's fucking annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not- I don't like mechanics like that. That's fucking bullshit, and you fucking know it. Oh god! Son of a bitch! Fuck off! Fuck, that's fucking annoying. <sighs> oh my- Fuck off! Platform is way too fucking small. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry. This is not a good fight. Like, <laughs> almost everything he does knocks you off. This is fucking annoying. Like, I, I'm sorry. I don't want to come here again. Oh my- Fuck off, game! Yeah, this fight is not well, uh, well put together. I'm sorry. I'm, uh... Yeah, considering that most of the places you stand don't seem to fucking matter.
yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not sorry. This, this boss is not well designed. It's fucking annoying. I don't want to come back here ever again. Um, this arena is, like, a little bit too small. Uh, okay. I'm gonna come in the healer. Um, code of aiming. Nope. Sky deep. Uh, okay, no. And no. Nope. Yeah. Thanks for putting up with me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to come back here ever again. I can't stand bosses like that. That's just fucking annoying. But what do we have here? I thought this place was of your queen origin. But is this glowing stone their creation as well? I don't believe so. I've never seen anything like it. Then it's from an even older time. Don't tell me it's the Allegans again. While careful study would be required to confirm, it does not appear to be reminiscent of their designs. That's true. Doesn't quite look like ancient, but could be wrong. A golden light. Could it be? There's something on the other side, but how to get over there? Oh. I'm not sure I like that more. Pardon me. Yeah. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Right then. Let's go and take a look. Like, I'm trying to figure out if this is, like, ancient tech somehow. No, it's a Stargate. Okay. That seal. That's Charlie and then no mistake. Okay. How do we open it? Come and look at this. You need the tablets. Oh god, it is a Stargate. Your tablets might be a good fit, wouldn't you say? I don't want to go exploring other galaxies. Nope.
to Alfino. Okay. Okay, now we're definitely in the matrix or something, like Oh no, it's 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 actually a Stargate. What the hell? Um Is this it? The Golden City? Though there is some resemblance, it doesn't quite live up to what the Yokui described from their dreams. You are very sneaky for someone that big. <laughs> you, my dear daughter, have found the entrance to the city of gold and triumphed in the right of secession. So we did it. Okay, but how do we open it, though? Well, I guess the other question is, do we want to open it? it to the end. I don't think so. You seem more perplexed than joyous. It's just... This place is unlike anything we've seen in Tural. Never mind the peculiar stone. So, I am given to wonder... What exactly lies beyond that gate? Nothing less than the Golden City of Legend, I assure you. A circumstance prevents us from opening the gate. As to what the city is and what Gall of Maldesium discovered all those years ago, this knowledge and more I will share with you after your ascension. What you choose to do with it will be up to you. Okay. Kind of nervous now. Like I said, I'm nervous about. Golden City is real. It took a while, but I finally found it. Okay. Congrats. <laughs> Come, let us return to Duliola. Home at last. Huh. That is most definitely an odd, uh, odd question there, yeah. Pokemon's victory, like me, I expect you have no few questions. They'll have to wait and as we speak. Meantime, let's just enjoy some rest. Okay. with whatever I literally don't care I want to never go back there um, however like I said uh, this you know as much as I want to keep going this feels like a uh, really good place to leave it um, and it's a nice cliffhanger for a video so I want to thank everybody so much for watching and uh, yeah we'll uh, pardon me um, gonna be back uh, back again next Thursday with uh, yeah, 
Uh, you know what? I might actually uh, just do more uh, more Final Fantasy again next week. Do both days um, next week again. So yeah, next Thursday uh, around the same time, you can come and uh, come down to the stream and uh, check me out. And uh, well, I guess technically, um, by the time this is going out, if people aren't watching it, that won't. Uh... Anyways, thanks everybody so much for watching, and I hope you have a good. E I hope you uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, have a good evening. All right. Peace.